Hey, Bob Ostrom here from BobTeachesArt.com. Today, I wanted to take a quick look at one of my favorite tools in Illustrator, and that is the Width tool. Now, the Width tool showed up around CS5 or so, and what it's allowed us to do is have complete control and accuracy over where the thicks and thins appear in a line. And you're asking me, Bob, why is that so important? Well, if you use the Brush tool or the Blob tool, you get pretty good control. But once that line is down, it's pretty much down, and controlling where the thick and thin is in that line is very difficult. If you use the width tool, we have complete control. So let's hop over to the computer, we'll take a look at how it works, and we'll look at it in a real life practical situation where I'm illustrating an actual project that's going to go out to actual clients who will pay me actual money. How cool is that? Okay, so here we are in Illustrator. I've gone ahead and drawn a couple of paths here. Uh, the first one I drew using the line segment tool, and then the second one I drew using the pen tool. Now, I just as easily could have used the pencil tool to do that, but um, we've got these two, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the first stroke here. Now, I'll grab my width tool, and I'm going to hover over this line. You'll notice that the line highlights, and in, in the center of the line, there is a little dot. That is going to be our expansion point. So if I drag this up towards the top here, and I begin to drag away from the center of the line, you'll notice that the line starts to expand outward, Okay, and it expands evenly on both sides. Now, I can add as many of those expansion points as I want, and I can also make them thicker or thinner by pulling away from the center or pushing towards the center as I click and drag. Now, you'll notice that as I begin to scroll over these points, they highlight. And what that does is that allows me to actually click on this point and drag it and change where that expansion point appears on this line. Okay, so I can click and drag any one of these. Now, if I find that some of these points aren't exactly the way that I want them, I can hover over them and readjust them, or I can simply delete them. Okay, so just highlight and delete, just like that. Okay, so now um, what I'm going to do is, let's roll over to this line here. Up until now, what we've been doing is simply clicking and dragging away from the center, and you'll notice that the line expands evenly on both sides. Let's suppose that we only wanted to expand the line on one side or the other. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down my Option key. If you happen to be working on a PC, you'll simply hold down the Alt key click and drag away from the center, and now you'll notice that only half that line expands. Again, I can move that expansion point up or down by clicking on it and dragging. I can also go to the opposite side of that expansion point, holding down my Option key, and drag it out to a different width if I want to. Now you'll notice that I've expanded quite a bit more on the inside than I have on the outside, and I can adjust that as many times as I want in either direction. And again, I can move it up or down. I can add in extra expansion points if I want. If I don't like them, I can simply highlight them and delete them. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Bob, how does that apply to a real life situation? Well, let's take a look at a little piece of artwork that I've been working on here. I've got a little bit of a problem spot down here on the shark's fin. So normally what I would do is I would use a brush uh, to complete this. And I've got the uh, Bobbio Super Brush 6.6 uh, selected here. And what that means is that I simply have a round brush with six point width and a six point variation. So if I were to draw this fin in here the way that I normally do, um, you'll see that I've got a pretty good stroke here, but I've got kind of a fat end on it. And I have really very little control now that this stroke is laid down using the brush. I would simply uh, have to either repeat that or I could expand it and then start to work with that a little bit. But that's kind of a lot of work. So I'm going to choose option number two, which is the width tool. I'm going to delete this guy. And I'm going to grab... Um, this little guy that I drew earlier. And this time, instead of uh, using the brush, I'm going to control where my thicks and thins go on this fin exactly in the position that I want them to be. So I'm going to grab my width tool here. I'm going to hold down my Option key, and I'm going to drag inward. You see, I want the thickest part of that stroke to be down here 
at the tip of this fin and then I want it to taper as it goes towards the body. So I'm going to add a little bit of weight on the outside of this just to round it out a little. And I think this looks pretty good. Um, if I start to zoom out a little bit, I notice that this fin might be a little uh, thin in its line weight compared to some of the other line work that I have going on here. So in order to correct that, all I would need to do is simply click on that fin, open up my stroke panel, and simply add a little bit of stroke weight to that. And you'll notice that I maintain the integrity of the thicks and thins that I set up earlier. Uh, the only thing I've done is I've added a little extra stroke weight to it. Now let's say that I like what's going on here, but maybe I want to have a little bit more of a taper at this uh, beginning end. I can simply highlight that point, drag it towards the center. We'll zoom out a little bit more, and you can see that now I have a very sharp taper on the front end and maybe a little bit thicker in the back. So I pretty much like what's happening here, and I think that that is uh, pretty much where I want to be with this illustration. So if you liked what you saw in this demo and you'd like to see some more like this, uh, join me over at the bobteachesart.com site, and I will see you there. Thanks for joining me.